I'm here to protect every man so that everyone gets to enjoy. I just want us to have sex without protection because she's so good or bad. How women use men. These are the three major signs. Let's define what I mean by women using men. It's the act of being manipulated, controlled, being taken advantage of for the benefit of the other party. It is not a give and take relationship. And even when what they do to you might cause harm to you, that doesn't matter to them. You are in no say of deciding what to do with your life. They are able to control you, do things that you can never do. Do women really use men? Yes, they do. And do men use women? They do. People do agree to use each other. A woman can accept to be given money and return. She can accept to give the man sex. Now, don't get me wrong here. There is always a relationship whereby someone is always taken advantage of. They trap you, guilt trap you, control you, and whenever they are done with you, they get rid of you. Hold on. I'm just trying to create awareness. I'm here to protect men. Before I jump direct to it, 60 of you guys have not subscribed to my channel. If you do always enjoy coming back and watching the videos, then do me a favor. Hit that button and let's get going. Are you ready? Let's dive in. The first and most important one that always pisses me off is I don't know how I got pregnant. I know women who have poked the hole in their condoms, who never took the pills. They claim they did to the man. I know women who have lied about the biological father of their kids, but the men have lived their life knowing that they are their real father. That's why I always tell men, there is no self-sex. Always use condoms. The lady, no matter how much you trust her, or maybe you want to have a one-night stand with the lady, make sure that she doesn't access your condoms. When you're done with the condom, you're the one who disposes them in the toilet so that she cannot access that condom. We have other women who can just still get themselves pregnant. Yeah, I'm trying to say that. Don't always allow a lady to open the condom for you. Don't allow her to access the condoms. Let's talk about women who always lie to other men that they are the biological father to their sons. Maybe you thought you made a mistake. You want to take the responsibility of raising a kid, but the reality is she is not your kid. If you have a feeling, you have a gut, it might bring a very bad indication to your relationship, it might cause a breakup, but I believe you deserve to take a paternity test. We all deserve to know if we are really the father. This way, we cannot be guilt trapped by the women. Women are taking advantage of men. They are using you. I want you to understand that we have women who are good and the best women on earth. Because she is a good woman, it does not mean that every woman is a good person, no. It's always good to have an okay sex than to make a mistake that you will come to regret for a lifetime. Not every lady wants to pour calls on the condom and some might just have maybe busted without you guys noticing. And yes, you can make a mistake. If you are a man who will always confirm after having sex with your lady, you will get to know. But do you think that it's worth it risking it all for a lifetime mistake than taking the precaution and making sure that you are having an okay sex? Don't tell me I didn't warn you. She's so good in bed. She made me feel like I could just maybe have sex with her and get her pregnant. I just want us to have sex without protection because she's so good on bed. Just remember, the enjoyment that you're going to have, it's a decision that you are going to make for a lifetime. Is it worth it? Really? Come on. Let's not lie to ourselves. The second way of how women use men is, will you pass the test? She will always use sex as a weapon. You don't get your need even when you want it. She will never give it to you. She will always tell you how you only love her for sex. And don't get me wrong, we have men who do exist and who can use women for sex. But you know you're a good man, you are a responsible man, you are in a very serious relationship, you are in a marriage with this lady. The only way you can have sex is if you bring her a gift. Whenever you disagree with her, you know that you will never get the sex. You have an important meeting, but she cannot release you in peace so that you can go do your important things in life. She will always use this word, if you genuinely and truly love me, you could just cancel your meeting and come spend time with me. 
This is something that has been happening every now and then whenever you have a faction. You're about to attend the meeting. She will call you to make sure that you cancel the function and come back home and spend time with her. Hold on. I'm not saying that spending time with women is not worth it and they don't deserve that. They do deserve that. They are queens. You genuinely love them. But we also have time for work. This is a woman who is insecure. You don't know what her plans are. Why will you test your man? Why will you always make them feel bad? She wants you to lend her money all the time. She's a girlfriend that you're just dating. She was paying her bills, but now that she's dating you, she wants you to always pay her bills. She will always tell you that, I promise I will give you back your money. She will borrow you money today. After which she will borrow you another money, but she never returns the money. The stepfather act. This is an exploitation that is only done by single mothers. For her to raise that kid, she needs a man in her life. Someone who can be there for the daughter or for the son. Now, hold on. Don't allow her to have a conversation with you and trap you in for that relationship. Just tell her, no, thank you, and walk away. I'm trying to say that entering in a relationship with a lady who has kids when you don't have is another different face. The kids, they always identify you as a helper, as a private driver maintainer's guy as a stepfather don't get me wrong i'm trying to say that it will be so tiresome for you you won't be ready for this emotionally you will always help you will always give whenever they need someone who can lend a hand you will always lend a hand but what are you getting in return you're going to provide for the family but you're not going to be identified as the father of the family that is the difference they will only identify the mother in the relationship or in the marriage as the father and the mother. Not every relationship, the kids respect their stepfather, no. So if you're not emotionally ready for that, and no matter what happens, you are all in for it because it's not going to be easy. If you're not prepared for that and you have not come to an agreement with the lady, my friend, don't even try to trap yourself in a situation whereby you won't be able to get yourself out. You will connect with the kids and when everything won't work for you, you will want to walk away. But you won't, why? It will cause an emotional and depression damage to your head. We do have a lot of single mothers who are looking for men just to serve as a helper, as a stepfather. In case if I cannot provide enough time for the kid, he or she has someone to talk to or to play with. It's not easy. So they will want to look for a man who can help them. If there is no one who can be there for the kids, don't take me wrong. I'm trying to say that whenever you make a decision with having a relationship with a woman who have kids, be ready to face it all. The rejection, the resentment from the kids, it's coming to an end. I don't think if they will reach a time whereby people will come to experience the real life of dating, knowing each other and having a relationship, no. People are coming to suffer. Women are using men, and we do have men who are also using women. If you do things because you do trust these women, it is coming back for you. What your mind tells you that it will happen, my friend, it's going to happen. I'm here to protect every man so that everyone gets to enjoy. The women who always claim to be independent women, they will get to identify and learn the importance of men in life. Have you ever been used by a woman? We have good women. They do exist, but very few. If you do watch up to this point, kindly comment down below by saying, I am with you. Until next time, be safe, take care, and let's have peace.